Here is a typical example of a complete combustion reaction where we have propane reacting with oxygen to give us carbon dioxide and water. It's a complete combustion reaction because we only get carbon dioxide and water and so therefore we must have enough or excess oxygen. And there's a trick to being able to quickly balance a combustion reaction. Um, the first point is always balance your carbon atoms first. So no matter how many carbon atoms you have on the left hand side of your reaction, you must have that number of carbon dioxide molecules on this side. So we can say that we have got three carbon dioxide molecules on this side. OK, and that's the carbons balanced out. Now, looking at hydrogen, OK, if we have eight hydrogen uh, atoms on this side, we must have half that number of hydrogen mole uh, water molecules on this side. So that would be a large four there. So if you want to try to remember that, try to divide um, the number of hydrogen atoms by two. OK, and then that tells you how many uh, water molecules you have over here. Now, that is uh, carbon and hydrogen balance. Now we need to balance the oxygen atoms. In other words, we need to know how much oxygen was going in for complete combustion to happen. OK, so what we need to do is total the number of oxygen atoms we have over on this side of our equation, on the product side. OK, so uh, every carbon dioxide molecule here has two. So that must be a total of six oxygens over here. And we've got four H2Os, so we must have four over here. So that is a grand total of 10 uh, oxygen atoms. OK, to get 10 oxygen atoms, again, we divide that total number by two to give us oxygen molecules. So we have five OK, oxygen molecules, and that is a nicely balanced complete combustion reaction. So uh, here is another typical example, a slightly larger um, alkane this time, hexane. Uh, we do exactly the same thing as we did before, but you might notice something slightly odd about the total number of oxygen molecules coming out. So we've got uh, six carbon atoms on this side of our reaction, so we have, must therefore have six carbon dioxide molecules over on here. That's uh, the um, carbon sorted out and doing exactly the same thing as we did before. We take 14 hydrogens, divide that by two to give us the total number of water molecules and we get seven H2Os. OK, so that's hydrogen sorted. Now, if I tot up the total number of uh, oxygen atoms in my carbon dioxide, which is 12, and in my water, which is 7, I have 19 oxygen atoms. And those of you faster at mental arithmetic than me will notice that that slightly causes us a problem. But if we do exactly the same process, if we divide by two, OK, you'll find that we need seven, uh, nine and a half oxygen molecules in order for that reaction to take place. And that is perfectly acceptable when you are doing a balanced combustion equation. So don't be frightened. Just give them a go. Practice, 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 and you'll be absolutely perfect.